Once upon a time, there was a princess who married a king. The king loved the princess very much, and he wrote into their marriage agreement that he would give her a king's ransom in jewels and palaces. Shortly after the wedding, the king was called away on urgent business. Before he left, he told his young bride that he might be away a very long time, but she could trust that he would eventually return to her. A month went by, and then two. A year passed. There was no sign of the king. Two years went by, and then five years, and then the people started to grow restless and decided to elect a new monarch. They told the princess to forget the king, that he'd never return. She said that she knew he would come back. When it became known that a new king had ascended the throne, eligible suitors started to arrive, attempting to woo the princess. She turned down flat every offer. She could never think of marrying another. Eventually, everyone forgot the king, except the princess. Many, many years later, the king suddenly returned. He was amazed and overjoyed that the princess was still waiting for him. He asked the princess, how were you able to stay faithful to me for so long? She answered, whenever I used to get a little sad or depressed, I, I take out my marriage contract from the cupboard and read all the things that you promised me. I knew it wasn't an illusion because it was written in black and white. God is the king, the Jewish people are the bride. The Torah is our marriage contract. When a marriage breaks down, the first thing to go is the celebration of the anniversary. We, the Jewish people, still celebrate the anniversary of our marriage. It's called Shavuot. We know that one day, very soon, our king will return because we still have our marriage contract. It's written in black and white.